Well, let's worry about some of the formatting problems that we have. I'm going to first highlight all the information that I have uh, up at the top for my names and titles, and let's deal with line spacing. It is single space, so that means that uh, our line options are adding a uh, space between paragraphs. Well, that took care of that. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to highlight everything I can all the way down to where it says Ernie Pyle. And I'm going to make sure that that is uh, times 12. Then after Ernie Pyle's signature, I'm going to come in and we're going to also make sure that that is also times 12. Now, we have all these codes in here for the merge. And I can come down to where it says Preview, and if this is uh, closed up, we can click on the little uh, triangle to open it up. Click on Preview, and you can see the name of the individual coming in. Now, there is a slight problem in that these are coming in at 10 point instead of 12 point. And that's kind of a glitch with this version of Microsoft Word. Um, I'm not going to try to compensate for it right now because I'm thinking that by the time this assignment is in, there may be a patch for Microsoft to fix that. So right now, yes, it is coming in with a different uh, font size, but um, we're not going to worry about it. I imagine we could go into Excel and change the font size on Excel, and that would take care of it. But again, I mean, it's... Uh, this is just a glitch that uh, Microsoft has. We can uh, click through our results and each time we click over here on preview results you can see that it's bringing in a new name and new information and that's letting us know that this is indeed working the way that it's supposed to. I'm going to turn off preview and we're ready to print. Now printing if we print like normal, it's only going to print one page. We have to complete the print off of the mail merge. And if we were going to print to the printer, uh, this is the area that we would click. I'm going to click on that. And we can see in our preview that we have this particular document. I'm going to tell it, instead of printing to the printer, that we're going to create a PDF. So we'll save this as a PDF and uh, this is going to go to our file locker make sure that we're going to the right place you will want to make sure that you are going to your file locker and uh, it's picking up what we called our file before and adding a .pdf at the end if you don't see the .pdf that means the hide extension box has been checked and you want to make sure that that box is not checked so let me go ahead and click on save And very quickly, we saw that it printed eight pages. There are eight pages that this uh, uh, merge created.